everyone so today I want to um, touch base with everyone again um, I'm currently sitting in the nursery which I just finished painting on Monday um, so the reason I want to do a vlog today is basically I just feel there's no point me putting this off any longer and I still want to share our journey with you so yeah I will um, explain what's happened over the last few days. So on Monday morning, I had literally just finished painting the nursery. Um, I had a call from my specialist, basically to say that our results had come in and from our amnio last week. And um, yeah, the news was not what we were all expecting, but basically the virus has infected our bub. So um, the test came back positive. So that basically means that um, with the CMV, it has actually traveled through me into the baby. So um, right from the get go, our specialist always spoke to us about um, the chances of the virus infecting the baby and then the chances of the virus affecting the baby. So at this stage, um, obviously when we got that call on Monday, I was just hoping that that would be the end of it all. Obviously, I would still continue to create awareness around CMV, but it appears that now I'll be sharing more of our journey with you and, yeah, we'll let you know how we go as we go. But basically, yeah, we got that call on Monday and straight away the specialist asked if we could go back in on Tuesday to see her and just go over what we do from now. Um, if the virus hadn't infected our baby, then it would basically mean for me just to stay healthy, make sure there was no um, reactivations or anything of the virus throughout the rest of my pregnancy. Um, and then basically we would just be back to a normal pregnancy um, as long as I took care of myself and made sure that it didn't flare back up. Um, but basically now that it has infected bub, like now that we know that it has infected a bub, um, it just means a whole lot more testing and basically we won't really know if and how it has affected our baby um, right up until she's born or even after she's born. She's going to have lots of tests and everything. So what we do from now is um, we go, we keep continue with um, appointments at our specialist every two weeks. Um, I can go more often if I feel like I need to but otherwise it'll be every two weeks um, where they will basically do a scan and check up on Barb and go over anything that maybe if I have any questions or anything like that. Um, and apart from that I go in about three weeks time I'll go up to Brisbane for MRI um, and basically they'll scan all of me to to check bub basically and the things that we're looking for um, is brain development and things like that so um, when they do the MRI that's what they'll be looking closely at how the brain's developing um, is there anything that's been picked up so to date the scans haven't picked up anything which is really positive um, we just need to obviously do this MRI to look further into the brain because obviously a scan can't pick up everything um, and then we will have another two MRIs, I think it's every three or four weeks after that. So um, one will be at like 24 weeks and then maybe 28 weeks and then 32 weeks or something like that. So yeah, over the next um, couple of months we will be going up to Brisbane and doing that. And then um, yeah, just our regular monitoring and seeing if anything comes up. So if anything does show up on those um, scans or MRIs or anything, um, then we may consider taking, there's like a, um, a drug, I guess you call it. Um, the only thing with that is we've been given a lot of information on it, but it hasn't actually been used here yet. It's um, So France has actually... Um, from the paperwork and everything I've read, France is actually the only country that's really taking this uh, seriously and they're doing a lot of research and they're doing a lot of studies and trials and things like that. So they've actually used this drug and there's um, information there that suggests 
by taking it that it can actually help the baby get rid of the infection and also um, stop any effects that it might be having on bub. So it may be something that we consider um, down the track, but at the moment I don't think that would be something that we would do just purely based on the evidence um, in Australia and, and it's quite a high dosage that I would have to take every day. So, you know, obviously there would what would come with that is other side effects and things like that. So that's basically where we're at. And um, yeah, we just have to obviously prepare for the worst news, but we're going to obviously hope for the best. And we just hope and pray that at the end of all of this, we just have a story to tell and we have a perfectly healthy baby. Um, I figured, you know, as I said, there's no point putting this post off and I've been sharing our story and I intend to keep sharing. So for me, um, because it's drawing towards the end of the week, a lot of people have been messaging me finding out if we've got the results. And I feel like, um, you know, by talking to each person individually, a lot of people do have questions and things like that. So I'm hoping by doing this that it will answer those questions and just basically I can carry on and yeah try and um deal with it as best as we can obviously um we've had a lot of family around us and that's been really good and we've got a lot of support so we know that you know we're throughout whatever the outcome is whatever happens down the track we will get through it and our baby will be loved just the same so yeah that's where we're at so i hope i haven't rambled and repeated myself too much but as i say you get what you get I always jump on here and not know what I'm going to say so thank you to everyone who has um, sent us their messages and followed up on us and checked in on us and it's been nice and you know having all our close friends and family aware of what's going on all the time obviously they've been our go-to people and then this is our wider network that I'm basically doing this to create awareness and for nothing else like absolutely nothing else I just want to make sure because this is something that's preventable that this does not need to happen to anyone else that we know or anyone else that's watching this video the cmv is preventable and you just need to know about it and get tested for it and take your precautions but if you don't know about it then there's nothing you could have done which is my case <laughs> so yeah i just have to um take each day as it comes and follow the process and trust the doctors and we have really really good doctors and that's one thing that I'm really grateful for as we've found some amazing doctors and they've been really good as far as giving us information and answering any questions and they're actually really confident um, and up to date with the CMV um, because it is such an evolving virus and as I say there isn't that much research behind it in Australia um, it is you know always being updated so yeah all right well I will leave it there and thank you for watching once again and I hope I um, jump on here soon with some good news <laughs> anyway thanks for watching